Hey everybody, I'm Tony and I'm glad you could join me for a tutorial on creating a custom template with Impact XT. So let's get started by opening a new instance of Impact. And of course the first thing we have to do is open a preset to start with. And my go-to is Tom Brechtline Drums. So you can see with this preset, the 16 samples are mapped to five different channels in the mixer. The kick is the first, the snare and stick in the second, the hats in the third, the toms in the fourth channel, and then finally the rides and the cymbals in the fifth. But we're going to take it one step farther than that. We're going to map every one of the preset samples to a separate channel. So if you can't see the instrument panel, here it is, and you can see impact is the only thing that I have open. So let's click that, and you can see the check mark of the five active channels to go with the five corresponding mixer channels. So let's activate the rest of them. Okay. So now we can do our remapping. In the bottom right corner of each of the samples is the channel number. So one, two, three. Let's change that to four, five. Change it to six, two, seven. Eight. Okay, so now we've mapped 16 samples to 16 channels. Just to test it, I'm going to paste in a little mini file that I prepared ahead of time that is simply a note of each of the channels. We'll play that. Okay, that's great. Now next up, we need to create a bus. So there's a workaround for that. So we'll go back into our instruments and we can drag another instance of impact or any other instrument onto the same track we've already created. Click combine. Now we can see that we've created a collapsible bus. Test that, make sure that Everything is routed to our bus. Okay, that's perfect. And now all we have to do is remove the second instance of impact. And we're good to go. Now when we don't want to mix our drums, we can just collapse it keep our mixer neat and tidy. Now I have to do some housekeeping.
Okay, so at this point we've done a fair bit of work and you can start to appreciate why it's a good thing to make a template. So we've now created a pretty full feathered drum setup. We've got Impact XT, which has been mapped um, to 16 channels with a collapsible bus. And at this point, it's time to save things. So this work that we've done on Impact XT needs to be saved or you'll lose it. So click on this little folder icon here and we'll store it as a preset and say Tom Brecht Lane Drums Tony's version. And now it's saved. Uh, and then also, if you want that to open every time you open up a new instance of impact, just click store as default preset. And now you're good to go. So now it's locked into the memory of your DAW and you won't have to do that again. Now at some point, you're going to likely want to bounce your drums to audio. So let's go through that workflow. Okay, once you've bounced to audio, your MIDI track remains in your track list, as well as your mixer, but it's grayed out. And so let's do some housekeeping and get rid of that non-destructively. So if you go over to the left here in your track list, if you can't see that, it's here. And you can toggle any item in your track list on and off. So I'm going to turn off the drum MIDI and you can see that it disappeared both from my track list as well as my mixer. And so when you've got a lot of tracks, you do that housekeeping and you'll be able to keep everything neat and tidy. Now, a lot of people get nervous about converting their MIDI to audio because you can no longer change it in the same way. Well, that's no problem. Again, this is a non-destructive process. So I want to make a change to my drums. So I'm simply going to toggle the MIDI track back on. I can erase the audio version and then right click and unmute my MIDI and we're right back where we started again. And finally that circles us around to saving our work as a template in Studio One for future use. So let's do that. Tony's test template and then save it. So now we can close what we've done. We need to save it. Now let's open up new song. And we can see that we've now got that template available for use. And there we go. And everything's all pre-configured and ready to go instead of starting from scratch. So I hope you find that helpful. That there's something there that uh, aids you in, in your process. I really do enjoy using Impact XT a lot just in terms of the ability to put everything into a mixer channel 
Um, I've tried to do this with various other instruments from third parties and had some success, but certainly not to the degree that I have with the native drum machine uh, Impact XT. So highly recommended. So take care and we'll see you next time.